What's up guys, Jesse back here after a long hiatus to showing you the first ever Storm Collectibles figure I have owned and the first one I will review on this channel. So today we are looking at the SDCC Storm Collectibles Street Fighter V Ryu or Hot Ryu. So first we'll be taking a look at the packaging here. Awesome display piece. Back you gotta see uh, you know picture of uh, Ryu and Street Fighter V uh, well, Street Fighter V uh, concept art and all that stuff. The box is pretty big, so we'll move this back a little bit here. This is the back of the box. Looking pretty cool. Same picture there. Alright guys, any of you guys don't know, that is the Street Fighter V Ryu theme I have playing in the background. But we'll turn that off for now and take a look at this figure. Alright guys, and here we have Ryu out of the packaging with all his accessories showing there. First we have this awesome Street Fighter V base here just comes in a separate piece of the packaging just plug that in here like so and then you would just move this up creates a nice ratcheting sound and this strong ratcheting joint there so you know it's not going to tip over or fall off which is awesome we have his a uh, v trigger effects here they go on each arm each hand and wrist i should say you know it's pretty cool as an electric effect to any posing you do with him to go along with the game, his V-Trigger effect is pretty cool. And here we have a nice head sculpt here. Showing teeth gritted Ryu with the epic beard. Looks like mine a little bit, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? For the ladies, baby. Here we have the yelling Ryu pose. And we have his, the charging of his, um... Well, I guess since they gave us the V-Trigger effect, it could be the Dungeon Hadouken. Because <clears throat> I, I believe the, the normal Ryu probably comes with uh, either regular Hadouken or the EX Hadouken or the Shinku Hadouken, either way. But this, you can have him as he's about to charge it up. Because in the game, he actually compresses it down, so it's pretty cool. Looks like that. And we have three sets of hands here. Minus the two they already have on them, so it comes with four sets of hand in total. You have what I would assume would be the ones for gripping said Hadouken, you know? And they're pretty soft, pretty rubbery. <clears throat> you have these stylized hands for posing, so you can get them. Get them in sorts of, you know, different types of poses. Get ready to counter and all that stuff. And you have for more uh, fighting poses here. The typical martial arts pose that you see a lot of uh, SH figure arts DBZ figures come with. You know, the, the two hands there. Alright, so let's take a look at all the accessories. Let's move these over, over, yeah. And let's take a look at this figure right here. Guys, this dude, can't even get them all in frame like that if I move him up close. But I, I, want him, I want to move him up close so you guys can get a much better look at him. Now, like I said before, this is my first ever Storm Collectibles figure, and this is amazing. I'm blown away by all the detail he has in the skin and all over the entire figure, pretty much. Loaded with detail, guys. This is amazing. <laughs> I can wait. Like, it's crazy. Like, I wish SH Figure Arts had this much detail. For the month, for the price point, they're pretty much almost the same price point. You know, Storm Collectibles go around like what, 50, 60 bucks? Some SH Figure Arts go for 50, 60 bucks and don't even have half the detail this guy has. This is insane. I'm a huge, huge fan of this figure, you know, and I'm extremely excited now after having this in my hand. I'm excited to have the uh, Storm Collectibles Akuma figure. Can't wait for that. So yeah, guys, I'm going to zoom this back out a little bit here. Keep this guy back there so you can see the whole figure while we talk about all the little details of this guy. So... <clears throat> I'm gonna stand straight here. So one thing Storm does with, from what I've seen with this, all these figures, all these little t 
tie, you know, tie knots and all that stuff that you see, they're movable. So you can literally move them all however way you want them to look when you're posing. Which I think is pretty damn awesome. So if you want to do them kicking here, have this blowing that way, have this going down this way and all that stuff, it's pretty damn cool. I think it's awesome. It's a nice little touch that Storm does. I wish more uh, figure companies would do that. <clears throat> so yeah, that's one other thing. This piece right here, this all this is all rubber, like a soft rubbery plastic type thing. So his neck and all that, it's all it's all rubber. <clears throat> you have this uh. What Play Arts Kai likes to do is the, the floating crotch piece right here. There's pretty much like a rubber piece that will hide the, the T-joints that go down from the waist down to the crotch and into the legs. But it's really, it's not loose at all. It's really tight, so it'll hide the joints pretty well. You know, like I wish it was a little looser so you can, so when, you know, when you're posing it, like it won't bunch up or get in the way. But the joints are really tight on this figure, which is never a bad thing. Because it's not tight to the point where it's going to break. You know? I mean, you, you're worried about breaking it. It's just, it's really tight. And that's, that's always a good thing. I'd rather have a tight figure than a loose figure. Alright, so for articulation, his head goes by far that much. Like this. I'm pretty sure you can get a 360 if you really wanted to. But I don't see why you can. Moving up, about that much. Down, that far down, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> Arms go out, about that much. You can do a full 360 with them there. You got the bicep swivel right there. Elbows go in about that far. So, almost 90 degrees, or just barely 90. Look at like that. Got the, almost the, you know, the whole Kogan pose going on there. Brother. Let's move uh, this down here. Like I said, guys, these joints are really tough. Got the butterfly joints in there. Let's move these out. So when you want to do the, uh, the Hadouken, you know, you won't have any issues with that. Just gotta move the biceps around and, uh, you know. You posers out there, you figure posers, you know what to do. Let's <clears throat> see, so, yeah, you got the wrist movement. Up and down as well. And it's just a, a ball, you know, a ball hinge there that we're accustomed to. With a lot of figures nowadays. I believe these do come off. So these do come off, so be careful with that. You don't want to lose those. And as I was posing him before, I'll show you guys in a minute. These these do come off, so be careful. Because the peg is actually like a rubbery peg. So getting it to move around or you know fit back in will be a little bit of an issue. Sometimes, not all the time, which is, you know. It's not a gripe at all, but just to give you guys a heads up. <clears throat> Got a diaphragm joint right there, moves around a lot. Doesn't really, in my opinion, doesn't really offer much for front or back movement at all. It's just there to pretty much, I mean, move side to side quite a bit. It's just there to complement the, the sculpt. The waist can move down about that far. Back, uh, not so much. No, not so much there. Yeah, fairly, fairly crunch there. But he can turn side to side and it's really good, really smooth, really easy to pose this guy. So, that's pretty awesome. Storm did a really good job with that. <clears throat> His legs, oh, bandana just fell off. 
Keep that off for a little bit. His band, uh, his bandana. Um, like I said, his belt over here. Can turn it around. It's pretty cool. So here we go. His legs can go f that far back, that far out. I mean, front. I seem to have a little bit of trouble moving this leg more than more than the other one. Like I said right here, you have the the floating crotch piece that's a little tight. So as you can see. That part of the leg came out a little bit, so it's kind of hard to maneuver back in there. But with a little finagling, you know, you can get it back in there. It's not a big deal. Pretty sure his leg can move out a little bit more. You know, but since this is my first uh, Storm figure and this is the DCC exclusive, I don't really want to mess with it too much and end up breaking it. I'm really upset if I do that. But going out is really cool, so you can get him into some decent kick poses. Knees bend. Uh, well, my attempt to bend around that much. Others might be different, like I said. Here's my first SDCC uh, Storm Collectible figure, so I don't want to mess this up. They bend about that far. You know, not bad. It looks decent. You can see all the, the textures in this. It's so awesome. I'm really, really pleased with this figure. You got ankle articulation, which is always a good thing. You got toe joints. You can see it just pop off there. So there's no problem. There's a bulb, bulb joint in there. Boom, goes in nice and easy. So you guys don't have to worry about it and mine just popped off again. There. Got a little toe wrap in there. And like I said, all these other uh all these wraps and belts and all that stuff, they they are posable. Let's uh, put, reuse, bandana back in there. We got him to a fighting pose. Excuse me, guys. Let's put this over here. Kind of want the, you know, the wind blowing effect. What if we decide to have it blow this way instead, since it might be easier? There we go, we have Ryu in his basic fighting pose. Like I said, once you get uh once you get to playing around with this guy, you start uh being able to do things pretty Sorry guys, I seem to have bumped into the camera a little bit. And for size comparison, if you guys don't know how big this guy is, here we have the SH Figure Arts Ryu. Yeah. Now I do wish that the Storm Collectibles figure were a little bit easier to pose. Kind of like these. These are really simple to pose, which is never a bad thing. So that's the size comparison. Let's straighten these guys out. Get a better, uh, better understanding of the scale that we're working with here. 
Give it to you. Why won't you? There you go. So we got him standing up straight. Or oh, there you go. That was good. Big buff for you. Give me a second, guys. Getting out of frame for a bit because, like I said, he is a pretty big figure. side by side as best as I can all right cool so there we are side by side comparison Let's see the size difference of you guys now let's try something here Hmm. I wonder. I'm just gonna try and put a. Give me one quick second, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. I tried to remove the head. I didn't want to finagle with it too much because it was making that, you know, ratcheting sound. So I didn't want to break it. Uh, check out my Instagram for some pictures coming up soon. At Jasonada Customs, I'll be reviewing. Uh, I got a bunch of customs that I want to work on. Just came back from vacation, so trying to ease up into things. So yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to zoom out. <laughs> get a full look at this guy. This guy is just so monstrous. It's awesome. So once again, Storm did an excellent job with this figure. Do wish that it was a little bit easier to pose, but. Once you finagle him, probably get him a little looser. You will not be disappointed. This guy is amazing. I do, and cannot say this enough, I do recommend, just by looking at this guy, having him in my hand, I do recommend every single Storm collectible figure out there. You know, they have, I know for right now, they have uh, Mortal Kombat and they have Street Fighter. They have a few um, Mortal Kombat characters. They have... Some Street Fighter characters out of already. They have Basic Ryu, Ken, Bison, and I believe Zangief just came out. So, lineup is getting pretty, pretty expansive out there. But, guys, if you have the money, if you have, you know, the means to get these guys, please do. They are awesome. And, uh, hey, Storm Collectibles, if you know, <laughs> if you want to sponsor somebody, you know, sponsor me, baby. I like your figures. <laughs> but nah, guys, in all seriousness, this is awesome. I'm happy with his purchase. It's, he's going on my shelf, just like that. Later, dudes.